there you are. I got some good work done on my uh, rooster whirly gig here. And I wanted to just show you. I got the basic action going. I still gotta add the wings and get those going and do quite a bit of tinkering. <laughs> you can work on this linkage too. It's kind of funky. But it's got the basic. The beak is working. Oops. It's not very smooth. Yeah. Well now I'm going to work on the leg a little bit. I need to put a rod in here. So here's what it looks like. He says drill a 5 16 inch hole. I'm going to put it 3 16 because I got bearings for a, a 3 16 inch shaft. Well to make sure I don't drill through. Do this. It's probably an easier way, but this is the way I'm gonna do it. Somewhere about like that. I got these two rods. Let's see how big they are. I didn't even measure. Looks like about two and a quarter. So I'm just going to pound these in here. Like so. Now I'm going to take a sixteenth inch drill. Try to drill a hole. Tricky. I got a long ways to go. I want to drill a hole through the rod and secure it in place. Well, since I missed, I drew a line on there. See if I can't hit it this time. I think part of the problem is I'm trying to do it on camera. Try. All right, measure about like that. Cut an angle. Put in the hole. I think this is for the uh, legs. So what I'm gonna do I'll put a hole through this. I'll turn it over. Use the center punch. Okay, and I'm th I'm gonna drill a half inch hole that will accept this bearing. 
So this will go in here like this. Right like that. And this is not the outside. This is the outside. in a pilot hole here first. I'm going to come back with the half inch bit now. Okay. Well now, let's see if we can put this head on there. It's supposed to, it's supposed to have a hole here. Poke a hole through here. Okay. I'm not quite sure how he says you're supposed to attach this. I'm thinking I'm gonna put a post on here like I did on the leg. And then I can put a bearing in here. That'll give me more room. So I'm gonna put another uh, piece of 3 16th inch rod right there. Well, here's what I got now. The leg on there. But I had a, had a few problems with this crankshaft. I bent it out according to the diagram. But if you put it like this, there's absolutely no way it's going to fit. It's got to fit in between these two. So that's definitely not going to work. I took this diagram and I scanned it. And then I pasted it into my paint program and I reduced it 50%. And I got this. So now... I think that's gonna that size will work in between this space here. So <laughs> I'm gonna bend up another crankshaft. Well, I wanted to explain how I got the made this setup because I did it a little differently than he made his out of plastic first of all I got a piece uh, three inches by three inches this bolt is a 5 16th inch piece of steel rod that I threaded that the Worthy gig is kind of heavy so you need something pretty stout and here I got a 3 16th inch rod I drilled this one first and put the gear in there and the bearing and then I just set this one on there and uh, made a mark where the center was and I uh, drilled a hole through this wood, a half inch hole through this wood and then, <laughs> of course it didn't quite fit right so I cut it right here I just took it on the put it on the chop saw and I cut it right here and I think I might have cut a little bit off this end too off this side too anyway I made a little gap in there and then I made this uh, shim I just cut a piece off there and I kept sanding this shim on my belt sander until these matched up just the way I want. Let's take a good look at that. I also 
put a piece of paper. I just tore off a little piece of paper and I put it between the gears while I was trying to line them up just so I made sure I had some clearance. Well, after I did that, I glued everything together with the wood glue. I clamped it together and and glued it. And then I came back after the glue was dry and I put some dowels in there. You know, kind of like nails, something to hold this all of this together. Basically, I made a shim and I just kept sanding that shim until I got the fit I wanted. Well, the other thing is I had problems uh, with this clamping hub. It's supposed to clamp onto this shaft to keep it from the shaft from spinning. So it's like part of the gear. So what I ended up doing was threading this last little piece of steel rod. And I actually have three nuts on there. That's how I'm keeping that in place. I think that works pretty good. It seems pretty stable. Yeah, this is kind of a, it's tricky to get this part right. Well, that's all I got for today, friends. Sure appreciate you stopping by. I'm sure having fun with this worthy gig. Hope you're all safe and well. Take care. I'll see you down the trail. Bye now.